It's season 10 of Hack 5, and I'm back. And today we have quadcopters? No, helicopters. Airplanes? <laughs> it's the quad shot! Yeah! This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. And I'm Dale Chase. And it's, of course, your weekly dose of techno lust. It's season 10, episode 2, Dale. Woody woo! Thank you so much for, uh, for filling in. Are Shannon, you kidding? My pleasure. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I haven't seen I searched. I actually went to the post office earlier today, and I looked by the trash cans. Didn't see her. <laughs> so... If you or someone you know has any information pertaining to the whereabouts of snubs, please, please contact the hotline. Yes. Hey We've got a great... What's up? How's it going? Where were you? I thought Evil Server zapped in, you. No, I was in Missouri. I, what? I thought you were in slash dev slash null. Well, yeah, same difference. It's kind of like fly over country, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess. You're in my spot, buddy. I what? guess I am. This is awkward. No, it's okay. I understand. I mean, you gotta have a co-host, right? But I, I guess. Here you go. All right, you take this, and I want that. You got it. Feels straight? All right, trade off. Ooh, hey, wait a second. If Dale Chase gets that microphone, I got an idea. Let's save that for the for the B block transition. Ooh, oh, ooh. oh that's okay. that's what we call a tease. Okay. All right. All right. Cut away. Ooh. Whoosh. Whoosh. All right, we are back. Welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. That's supposed to be Season 10, Episode 2. Woohoo! Yeah, so, um, excuse me, but $50? Really? I thought it was, was worth more than that. That was generous. That was generous. I mean, I mean, you're found now, so you can't claim the $50. Reward $50. I'm going to keep that. You're putting that on my paycheck, buddy. What? Mm -hmm. No one's getting paid here. So, hey, tell me, what's going on this week? In Dude, Hack 5? we've got so much great stuff planned for Season 10. Uh, we have the folks from Quadshot down to explain how to program the, uh, the, the uh, it's the open source. The Quadshot. The, yeah. Well, the Quadshot, but it's, they're talking about the open source paparazzi, uh, unmanned flight, autopilot thing. Nice. Uh, really, really cool. Um, yes. We've got a whole series with that, so we're going to kick it off this week. Uh, I'm really stoked about that project. I've ordered mine. I can't wait to get it. Yeah, I got to fly it. I got to fly it, yeah. like tandem. Like so, the guy's got the remote, and then I've got the other remote, and it's like tied into his. So he's. Oh, so it was like student driver, where they have a brake pedal too. <laughs> yeah, it's just nice. like that. Okay, that's and he, funny. he keeps like he keeps like okay, keeping it steady, and then like once he's got it steady, he like hits this thing, and the switches over to my controller. And now I'm trying to fly it, and I'm like, oh, and of course, it's the only prototype. Yeah. I, I'm flying their only one, the one they machined by hand, spent a week on or something, <laughs> building just this one airframe, and so I was a little nervous. And we've got it over there where the dogs are playing fetch and stuff, so yeah, they're, they're all they're... like trying to catch the thing while it's in the air. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> um, yeah, that was good. So we've, uh, we've got that and we've got so many other great things. Uh, I know that we're, I'm doing a lot of fun stuff with Linux this series. Series 10. Me too. Nuh uh really? Yeah, for real. Well, you were just in slash dev slash null, so what would you pick well, up? While I was in there in Missouri dev null, um, yeah, I checked out this thing called Pinguy OS, which is like a uh, it's like a crossbreed type of thing of. Well, I, I have a feeling that the creator really likes Macintosh because it's very Mac related. Oh, really? Yeah, but no, it's, tell me about it. it's a okay. So it's this operating system that was basically a, it was sent in by Wayno. Thank you, Wayno. And it's this OS for pretty much anybody, like not just geeks. It was made for it's made very um, for very simplicity. Yeah, I mean a lot of the <laughs> Linux distros like you know Arch and Gentoo and stuff yeah. are not. As beginner friendly, they're not as like I always suggest Ubuntu or Mint as right. you know your yeah, first like, dive. Like Mint's the water. very easy, but this one already has a whole bunch of stuff pre-built into it, and it already has everything configured that you would think of that you would have to you know configure yourself. So it's built off of Ubuntu 11.04. Oh yeah, and nice. There nice are version. a whole bunch of really nice things that I like about it. First of all, it's pre-installed with all those programs. And it's pre-configured, like for example, um, with VLC. 
like a lot of times you open up a video and it opens up in some random program that yeah, you Yeah, or it's like, like asking you, what program do you want to open yeah, this so in? Yeah, so it already has your videos pre-configured okay. into VLC, so you don't have to do that afterwards. And it's out of the box, ready to use. It's very polished, and the OS looks very uh, very clean and similar to It kind of looks like Macintosh. a Mac, I totally yeah. see. Yeah. yeah, like it's got um, it's got this thing down here called Docky. Ooh. I see it's even got the dots it's under what pretty. programs are running. Yeah, so how, I open that up. You like how it uh, opened up oh, that, with that's that little pretty. squiggle? Ooh. Yeah, so um, all that's already pre-installed, and Docky like comes on too. it like this. And then this widget, I don't know what it's called. Oh, that's that, there's a bunch of these. Well, there's it. a bunch of those different widgets, but but yeah, it just sits there in the background. It shows me way too much information, but <laughs> it's it's nice to have, even so. So Docky was one of my favorite things. Another thing I liked about this is this one called Known Do. It's a search feature, but it also has a whole bunch of other built-in things. Like for example, you can Twitter from it mm -hmm. if you set up your Twitter client. And you can like open up files and folders, and you can choose to define something. So I could type in define, and it opens up that application. Oh, cool. So I could define a word if I wanted to. Um, Samba is built in and ready to go. So file sharing. Yeah, all you have box, to do is course. right click on I would expect a folder, it too. and then add your password. And then um, on their website, which is pinguyos.com, mm -hmm. their how-to area on their forums is like super, super handy. Yeah. Like they have everything that you would want. There's tons of good info. There's like an Ubuntu terminal cheat sheet that has like all the different pseudo commands and everything that you need to know. Um, there's dual monitor setup guides. There's a setup guide to boot it off. So is this USB. your new OS? I mean, what are, you, what are you thinking? Well, I had a couple of problems with it mm -hmm. when I set it up. Um, first off, the internet wasn't already connected, and it couldn't see my wireless card, so it had a couple of issues with that. Yeah, that's... And that was kind of a You should have sprung for the i7 model of this laptop comes yeah, with the Atheros chipset. I might have. You should've. got the Broadcom in yeah. there. And, yeah, eh. I was like, ah. Okay. And then I also had issues with installing this actually onto my laptop, so I could dual boot between Win7 and Pinguy. So I was having issues with like all this free space like mm -hmm. errors that kept on coming up, even though I have tons of free space on Windows 7. Mm. So right now I'm just booting off of the USB. Well, we could get you into like partition, ma or partition magic, uh, GNOME partition manager. Yeah, so I mean, it's going to take Whatever some it time. It'll, I'll have to you know, yeah. go into other programs. We can, we can set it up it, manually, but, but it just wasn't doing it like through the next, next finish. Exactly, wizard. like you would think, because that's built into Ubuntu, that this would have it as well. You could just like slide yeah. the slider over uh -huh. and change your memory and oh, your well. space, but I was having issues. So um, I think it's really nice and clean and simple for anybody who's never messed with Linux. Uh, it's a great way to start off, and it's a great way to you know get your feet wet in the terminal and everything. But as far as a dual booter, I don't think this is the one. Well, you know what? I think we're just going to have to uh, ask you guys, what do you think Shannon should check out as her first Linux Which distro one? to install on the hard drive? None of this USB <sighs> stuff anymore, snubs. Yeah, I want a dual boot. Yeah. <laughs> Or, or you could multi-boot off a of USB. I've seen a couple of tutorials mm -hmm. on doing that. I'm joking. Anyway. Wait. <laughs> like, but, uh, all of my segments. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to throw so that small. out there. No, you should definitely go Gen 2. Uh, okay. I'm joking. But, uh, <laughs> but much love. Or Fedora Core. You might like that. Anyway, so uh, hit us up feedback, feedback at hack5.org. Um, we should probably also check in with Kirby's TCP packet of the week yes. uh, a little later. But actually, or I got, maybe Starbucks. Yeah, or maybe start, or or maybe we hand this off to Dale Chase in Ooh. just a bit. First, we'll be back yeah. after a quick word, taking a quick break. Be right back. If you want to build a video site or if your website has a play button, I recommend getting yourself a .tv domain. You see, a .tv website lets you showcase your original content and create a unique site, not just another YouTube channel. Just go over to domain.com and search for the perfect .tv domain for your new idea. Then use coupon code HAK5 at checkout to save an extra 15%. And if you need hosting for your new .tv website, don't forget about domain.com's web hosting plans that are less than six bucks a month and have everything you need to build, maintain, and promote your site. And remember, when you think domain names, think domain.com. Got a great idea? It all starts with a great domain, domain.com. 
Bart backlash involving anonymous, more protests stemming from police violence and killing cell service to thwart demonstrations. Organize a shutdown of Civic Center Station. Anonymous leaks Bart cops information. 102 email addresses, they're not playing. And FCC to launch an investigation into Bart's apparent free speech violation. Firefox ships version 6 with no real tangible improvements. Domains highlighted keeps an eye on fishing, a boost in speed, but just to a slight degree. 3,500 unpublished docs read by former WikiLeaks spokesman. Assange couldn't keep them safe, he insists. Among them, the US government's no fly list and exploiting Photoshop CS5 from Adobe GIF files allow code execution remotely. Yeah, one time for your mind. I'm Del Chase. Those are your hacker headlines like that, Shaw. Back to you, Darren.